Assalamualaikum guys, what's up? What's going on? In this video, I'll show you how to install Valorant without any uh, Riot uh, Vanguard issue or dependency error. Now, what I'm gonna show you in this video, actually, this video will help all other pupils if they are facing any kind of issue. But please watch till end, and what I'm gonna say, just uh, follow these instructions for other pupils as well and drop your feedback after uh, follow this video now uh, I just install a new operating system and then I install the Camtasia studio for recording and Google Chrome and some browsers and nothing else just a clownfish a nice can for nice cancellation now after the updating now still my drivers are uh, on the way it's still updating right now but let's move on the uh, Valorant and I'll show you why actually it's not working uh, it's all based on my experience uh, not actually 100% uh, uh, accurate but it's can according to my experience I just confirmed because uh, you play steam games and uh, epic games some other bro launchers um, some different games that's actually have their own anti-cheat and they block the reward vanguard installation I'm not sure 100% why, but basically, when uh, people are asking me that still their uh, problems uh, are not solved properly or not fixed, so this is the only cause because uh, problem gonna not gonna fix. Here you can see I have just logged in my account and I have already downloaded the Riot Vanguard and I'm gonna install it right now it's around uh, 23 gb but you can see the location is c drive your games as normal as default it is so here is my backup it's around 25.6 gb it's valorant folder i'm gonna install for Riot client and uh, at the same time i'm just pasting the valorant game into the Riot client folder just going into the valorant folder right now copying the backup uh, gonna paste it here copying the backup from other driver and just pasting it into the c drive here both works together there's uh, don't worry about the uh, client folder uh, installation and the valorant copying backup so don't worry about this this is happening when you are playing steam games and they have their own anti-cheats and uh, epic launcher have their own anti-cheats so basically i think according to my experience those anti-cheats block the rear vanguard as you can see both uh, copying copied now i'm just gonna open it and uh, installing the rear vanguard without having any issue first login uh, my account using Facebook because Facebook is easy way for me all the time I'm just hearing pupils comments uh, on my Facebook account so that's why I'm using Facebook account and that's it it's login now uh, it's updating the uh, basically rear vanguard as you can see without having any issue just follow these steps install a clean window from microsoft i will give uh, provide you a link microsoft uh, windows 10 iso link in the description just go ahead download it and uh, use rufus software uh, 16 gigabyte usb and just install the windows and later on the first step you need to do is update your operating system and download the riot uh, client and if you have backup then that's good if you don't have and your internet is slow then you can also download the compress uh, valorant game it's around 10.8 gb and uh, link i'll provide the link in the description just go ahead follow the backup and download it just easiest way if you have facing the slow internet issue then you can simply download the highly compressed valorant backup and just paste it into the reward game folder and now as you can see it's updating i'm just waiting here for the finishing 
I'm just doing actually a voiceover before when I was recording this game, the first uh, phase of this game, like installing your games till installing the your games, it uh, it was around 15 minutes recording. So I just cut it and uh, increasing some parts uh, speed of some parts. So basically, that's uh, right now I'm voiceovering on it. Sorry for bad English actually, I'm not good in English, but I'm just trying some, you know, broken English for you. Now, you guys, uh, what you need to do is just follow these steps and uh, drop your feedback in the comment section so other pupils uh, will understand the basic reason behind this error. Why actually your Vanguard is not installing or you are facing the dependency error. So, just drop your feedback. So finally I'm back and now I'm gonna start the uh, Valorant game. First let, uh, let me open the your client and let's see. Uh, let me check out that uh, it's record. Okay, it's recording. So as you can see, play and here we go. The following components are required to run this program direct x runtime. So if you are facing this error, then simply there is only one solution that will help you. Just download direct x runtime end user. Actually, this is a Microsoft file web installer and uh, it have all the direct x uh, versions updates. So begin to the latest version from start to end. So you need to download this and it will solve all your issues related to the DirectX or DX kind of error. Just download this. That's it guys, now simply I'm going gonna play it without having any issue. Now, uh, as you can see, it's running, there's no error. These, this is my account, if you want to add me, then we can play together on uh, Bahrain server. Actually, I'm playing on Bahrain server and uh, here you can see there's no error. Now knowing issues with graphic drivers actually i did not install my graphic drivers right now but already it's on the way i'll show you just wait let me show you my graphic setting uh, drivers i did not even download right now uh, sorry did not install right now it's downloading but as you can see game is now running fine now uh i hope guys you like this video please hit the subscribe button and share it with friend if you have any question just drop your comment i'll respond to you as soon as possible till then just take yourself a lot of peace bye bye